So we just saw in the last video uh, what the locals window does. It shows you all the variables in your sub procedure and <clears throat> it shows you their name and the value they contain and, and their type. There's another window that allows you to peek inside your computer's memory and see the variables. And that's called the watch window. So let's close this locals window down here. I'm just going to close it. And let's look at the watch window. So the watch window lets you watch a specific variable and stop the code when, a, when the value of that variable changes. Um, to get to the watch window, you just go up here on the debug toolbar. And you want to click watch window. So now here's the watch window. Same type of columns, right? You have the expression, the value, and the type. And you have another column here called context. But the main three columns that are important are the ones we saw in the locals window. You know, your expression, your value, and your type. So now let's, let's see what this watch window does. Um, let's go to our My First module. And to see what the watch window does, you just go to a variable and you can right click on the variable and you could go add watch. And when you do that, this window pops up. This add watch window appears. And notice you can set which variable is being watched. So if I change this, you know, by default, because I had my cursor on the variable this is the variable that's going to be watched. Um, there's also a drop down list for the context and all this means is what procedure do you want to look in? You know, and here it lists out the procedures in this module. There's three procedures here and there's three procedures in this module. Well, the variable I want to I want to look at is this my first variable. It's in vars. It's in the sub procedure called vars, so I'm going to just leave it as vars. And then you could also select which module do you want to look at. You know, here's all our modules. I want to, this, this sub vars is in the my first module, and I'm just going to leave it as the default. Um, and then, what else? Um, you have this thing here called watch type. Uh, this, what this does, it just behaves like, like the locals, like the locals window. So if you have the watch type set to watch expression, then basically it's it's the same thing as a locals window. It's not really too interesting. There's you already know what this is going to do if you just click OK. Um, it's it's just like the locals window. So if you step through it again using this step into. Uh, you could see that my first variable is just down here and there's the name of it my first variable there's its value there's this there's its uh, type integer and if I click through it there you see the expression uh, my first variable now has the value 8 because I just went through that line that's not really too interesting um, if I if I click this again and go add watch you know the watch type if I if I change it to break when the value changes, now something interesting is going to happen. You know, up here, having it set to watch expression, that just basically means you're using it like the locals window. But down here, something different is going to happen. So what what happens when I say break when the value changes? Well, if I click the option break when the value changes and click OK, um, no, notice that notice what happened over here I have this little icon with like a hand that and then like a symbol over there that, that sort of says like stop and up here I only have the glasses so these are both watches one is one has the watch type of watch expression and the other one has that watch type set to um, break if the value changes so I could really delete this one because I don't really need it anymore I could delete this watch by just right clicking it and go to delete and now I have the one I just set up which is uh, when I run this the code is gonna stop when the value changes so now if I just put my cursor in here and click F5 
or click the run button so I'll just click F5 on my keyboard look what happened because I set up the watch you know if I double click this or uh, if I if I right click it and go to edit watch because I set up the watch to do break when the value changes when I ran the macro when the value of this variable changed from being 0 to now having the value 8 in it, the code stopped, which is pretty cool. Because now, when I'm writing code, if I want to um, see what value it has at a certain point, I could just set a watch on it and say, stop when the value changes. And I, then I could see what value it has by looking at it down here. So in memory, now the variable, my first variable, has the value 8. Um, the other option that we saw, so I'm just going to press reset here. The other option that we saw, if we edit this watch, you know, you just highlight it and go edit watch, is this break when the value is true. And remember when we talked about variables in the variable video, um, the Boolean variable it can hold the value true or anything that's non-zero is considered true. It's the same thing with this watch type. Um, so the code is going to stop when the value of, of the variable is set to true or it's set to anything non-zero. So if I click this now, break when the value is true, what do you think is going to happen? I'm assigning something non-zero to this variable and now my watch, this little icon changed down here. But if I run it, the code going to stop it after this line because uh, if I run it, the code stops because something non-zero was assigned to the variable. So even though the watch uh, type says break when the value is true, you know, it says break when the value is true, it doesn't mean that you have to assign true to the variable you could also it's also going to stop when anything non-zero is assigned to it um, so that is the watch window um, it's pretty cool because it allows you to do a lot of different things if you want to use it just like the locals window you can set up a watch like this and now you get the glasses over here and it basically behaves just like the locals window you just see the value of your variable in your computer's memory but if you want to if you want to do something a little more interesting you know you want the code to stop then you would select either this one or this one either stop the code when the value of the variable changes or stop the code when the value is set to true or anything non-zero um, so that's what the watch window does. It's very useful and you can use that as you're debugging or, or checking out your code. You should be, you know, play around with this stuff. In the next video, we'll talk about how you can stop the code a different way using breakpoints. And that's, that's interesting as well.